to you as we take a look at our fair fair first alert live radar as you can see a little bit of some scattered shower chances down to the south could see those push in and become a little bit of patchy fog by tomorrow morning still mid to upper 70s in our inland areas a few 80s closer to the coast right now by tomorrow morning could even see a few upper 60s in our inland areas it's gonna be upper 60s to lower 70s out there more mid 70s as you work your way closer to the coast but similar to what we saw today definitely gonna want to go ahead and grab that umbrella as you walk out the door especially if you're gonna be around I-95 and especially if you're going to be going to pick up the kids or if you're going to send the kids out the door, maybe give them an umbrella as well. 40% chances as we go from the two to four o'clock hour. Still going to look for high temperatures in the upper 80s during this time, but pretty much what we'll be seeing as we time out everything for you tomorrow morning. A few light shower chances in the low country, a little bit of some patchy fog like drizzle over in our inland areas as we go through the midday hours, sunny skies, but then by the time we get to two to three o'clock, scattered storm chances all around I-95 pushing in from the sea breeze, so that means could be a wet if you're going to pick up the kids during that time, those push farther inland after that fall apart after sunset and we're looking at mostly clear conditions by the time we get to 10 o'clock tomorrow. But high temperature wise, if we will be tracking cooler temperatures since those rain chances will be coming in sooner, mid 80s along the coast, upper 80s in our northern areas and then 90s as you push your way farther to the south. When it comes to those feel like temperatures, it's going to be anywhere from the lower 90s in our northern areas to mid 90s as you push your way farther south. So still going to want to pay attention to how your body feels. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water as we head into the day, but basically we're going to look for similar weather as we head into the start of this week. More daily rain chances coming in from that sea breeze. Temperatures are going to be warmer during the first half of the week. We'll look for upper 80s, lower 90s, and then temperatures start dropping as we head into the start of next weekend, all because of this next front that's going to be coming through. But here's a closer look at those rain chances. You can definitely see when the front comes through. Once we get past Thursday, it's through the area, so rain chances pretty much drop off, but 30 to 40 percent chances up until that point, so isolated to scattered chances is what we'll look for. And then after that, we are talking about what we're going to be seeing with tropical storm or excuse me, Hurricane Lee. This is showing upper level winds of this ridge and this high pressure. Basically what wind does is it flows from high pressure to low pressure. So those being there is what's going to make this turn farther to the north. And that's what we're going to be tracking as we head into the second half of the week. In the meantime, for us, we will be having some breezy winds from these conditions. We definitely will be seeing less rain chances once the front comes through. But the biggest concern based off what I'm seeing right now elevated rip currents throughout the west the, the week could see small craft advisories and gusty offshore winds but we'll keep you updated on that situation and look for beautiful weather as we head into next weekend sunny skies mid to lower 80s that's right Flynn I said it Looking forward to it Dylan